Hi, um, connection to Polyplex. So basically this is as it arrives and I've deleted the map player from there, which I should have left. So we load Polyplex in. Now this will be interesting to see how the screen capturing software copes. Um, bum, bum, bum. As we wait for Polyplex to load, excuse my old fashioned um, computer as it wars away. Well, there we go. We'll get rid of those. Right, so that's what standard off the shelf Polyplex connections, domain outputs, and back to the panel. Drag over there out of harm's road. Right, uh, let's just switch all this off. Choose Polyplex and tell that. Basically all that's doing is just making sure that all the, the rows have the correct note numbers that um, match up with the pads on Polyplex. Which, good, seems to be working. Right, making it work. Highlight Polyplex instrument. Go to Properties, Connect, Internal, Select. Now, we want the rows, rows 1 to 8 to, produce, to can be controlled, so that's these down here. Um, if you only wanted a few rows to control it and you were using the other rows to do some other jobs elsewhere, then don't connect it. Right, in order to use the kit selector, which is up here, um, we need to also make sure that it's connected to the Ensemble RDS 1 version 1.0. So let's just double check. <clears throat> yeah, and that will mean that the kit selector, MIDI volume, if, which this isn't set up for, uh, and snapshot, changing utilities which it is set up for. Uh, although we'll talk about snapshot changes and polyplex in a minute. Right, so that should be us set up. And good. Actually, let's just use this just now. And as you see, we're getting uh, some marvelous Little uh, clicks. All right, let's catch that one a second. Uh, can't. Right, let's just. Um... <laughs> uh, my computer's struggling a bit here. It's the uh, well, it struggles with Polyplex at the best of times, but with the capture software, it's really struggling. Um, right, uh, let's just it's like a day quite a. A low. Right, I bet if I alter this, my screen capture software will go potty. Let's give it a go. Oops. Oh, life still seems to be working all right. <laughs> Excuse me, experimenting on the hoof. Right. And why? You... Ah, yeah, we need to switch the damn thing on, of course, Michael. Right, so your that's us connected to Polyplex.
as you saw what I just did there, <laughs> excuse the cliche, um, I just uh, made number two a blank, well it already was one, and just linked pattern one to pattern two, so it chains, so we only get that every now and again. Um, there's no point in changing uh, um, no outs because basically it only has eight, so it only respects to eight, responds to eight. We're just switching uh, presets. I think uh, you're getting the idea. What's well, quite good fun is uh, setting up the kit. So if we go to kit two, oh, switched on Michael, it helps. Oh, I must make that. So we're now in kit two. So if we randomize a couple, Then go to kit three, randomize a couple more. That's enough, we just need to do that one. Randomize, oh, randomize everything, see what happens. Right. set one of these up to do kits. Ah, here we are. and reset so that it's all in sync. This should, every few bars. Oh, why are you not working? Ah. I'm a bit new to all of this myself. I only just set all that up yesterday. Well, as you can see, uh, just by a bit of randomization and then sequencing the kits from down here. Um, I'll do another tutorial on, on the modulations. Um, oops, getting a bit loud here, Michael. Turn that down. Um, I'll do another tutorial on the modulations. Um, but if you've used VSS, they're exactly the same. They're slightly modified um, to suit drum programming, as in there's no plus or minus, because there's only a couple of controls that are worth plus or minuses for. Right, um, I think that concludes Polyplex. Hang on, we have a Polyplex. Right, um, that's using it with Polyplex. Um, there are a couple of little issues with the um, the snapshots and the kit selection with respect to Polyplex. Um, trying to make it change on beat without spiking hugely in the red um, over MIDI, as in uh, rather than with a mouse. Um, it's quite tricky. Um, I feel I haven't quite got there yet. But uh, it still all works. I, I, I wouldn't use the snapshots when uh, doing uh, snap sequences, uh, compiling songs. Polyflex also, when you change snapshot, has a momentary lapse of silence, a gap of silence, um, which uh, knocks it off beat, um, which is no use. Um, 
the kits, on the other hand, seem to give a bit more seamless, uh, a bit better of a, uh, a link between. Uh, oh, come on, Michael. They don't lose the beat. Uh, I think there is a slight stutter in there. Um, but we won't go into all the nonsense of why and how to avoid it. And anyway, I, I, it's a struggle with that. Right, I'm waffling pish here. Oops. <clears throat> right, let's let's stop. Thank <laughs> you.